Hello kids! It's me again, Teacher May, and today we will learn about the eyes. In this lesson, we will know what's the use of the eyes, what are the outer parts of the eyes, and what are the proper care of the eyes. Are you ready to learn, kids? That's great! Let's begin! Look at the two pictures. What differences do you see in them? What body parts do you use to see the difference? That's right! We use our eyes to see the difference of the pictures. When we say eyes, these are the sense organs for seeing. Your eyes work from the time you wake up in the morning until you sleep at night. Now, what are the use of the eyes? Moving on, you use your eyes to see things. You can then tell the shapes of things you see. You can tell if an object is in the shape of a circle, square, triangle, rectangle, or even a star. With your eyes, you can tell the size of an object. For example, you can see how big or small an object is. You can tell how long or short it is. Your eyes also see the positions of things. For example, you can tell if a person is sitting or standing. You can tell if an object is inside another object. You can tell where an object is. These pieces of information about things that your eyes see are sent as messages to your brain. Your brain reads these messages. You are then able to name and describe objects. Now, let's proceed to what are the parts of your eyes. Light enters the pupil. The pupil is the black circle in the eye. The iris controls how much light enters your eye. The iris gives color to the eye and most Filipinos have black eyes or dark brown eyes. The eyelids close and open your eyes, and they protect your eyes from harmful things such as dust, sunlight, and air. When the day is windy, dust could enter and harm your eyes. Notice that your eyelids immediately close when dust suddenly comes near your eyes. The eyelashes give added protection as well. These are rows of hair on the edges of the eye. Last, the eyebrows also give immediate protection from the sweat. When you play, you sweat. Sweat does not go down easily to your eyes because the eyebrows move it away. Your eyes are important sense organs. They help you do a lot of things. So, you need to take care of them. Here are some ways you can take care of them. First, Eat foods rich in vitamin A, such as squash, carrots, and bananas. Vitamin A helps to improve the eyesight. Second, read where there is enough light. Reading in poorly lighted areas causes the eyes to get tired easily. Third, do not rub your eyes while they itch. You can transfer germs from your hands to your eyes. Instead, wash them gently with clean water. You can also wipe them with a clean and damp face towel. The fourth one, do not look at the sun directly. The glare from the sun can hurt your eyes. If you can, wear a hat or cap when going out in the sun. And last, avoid watching too much television. Do not also use the computer for a long time. Too much television or computer use keeps you from resting your eyes. Remember, see an eye doctor if you feel pain or discomfort in your eyes. Eyes can only see if there is light. If there is little light, you cannot see clearly. This means that you cannot see anything in total dark. That is all about the eyes. I hope you learned something and keep on studying. Bye!